G'day guys, welcome back, welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. So lovely to have you all here with me today in my studio playing with some resin. Now the other day I did these, I used this coaster mold to do the gold and white uh, coasters and I said to you I really wanted to try um, black and white. So I am going to do that today. I'll try black and white. That's for my black. That's for my white. Um, oh, I'm very. I'm not really organised, am I? <laughs> I've got a few things. Um, actually, I'm going to put my white in there, and those can be for my clear. All right. So I've got. Um, when I did the when I did those gold ones, I used the. Platinum 360 plus. It's it's a thicker resin. Today I want to try um, and just see what happens with a thinner resin. See what sort of effect I get. So I'm going to put a. I want to try something a little bit different with my mica powders because you know how they're really hard to mix in and they take a lot of mixing. So I'm going to try something different. I've got half a cup there for my black. These are. Four ounces or 120 mils. A little bit there for my silver center. So that's going to be my black. So you know when you're making a roux, as in like for a, a gravy or a custard or something like that, you don't throw all your flour in the liquid at once, do you? No, because it's really hard to stir and it gets all lumpy. And I thought, well, why can't we do that with mixing mica powders? So I'm going to try that today got a tiny bit of resin in there and I'm going to use this Jacquard Perlex Micro Pearl. There's also a Macro Pearl but I bought the Micro Pearl. I don't know what the difference is but I'm going to try that. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do like I normally do when I do my gravy or something. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to do two big scoops with my medium stick. And I'm going to stir that in and make a paste and just wet all that mica powder and then once that's all combined and I've got that nice paste and all this powder is nicely wettened then I'm going to add them up the rest of the resin. What do you reckon? Does that sound like a good idea? I reckon. So I have such a lot of trouble stirring, stirring, stirring for so long to get all the, that powder mixed in. And then um, I always miss a bit. I'll just drop some in there. I always miss a bit, and then it spoils your um, your effect. So try it this way. All right, so that's all mixed in there. Nice little paste. And I'm going to do about three quarters of a cup. I want quite a lot of the white. I don't want much black. The black is going to go around the edge. And never want too much of that. So I'm going to do about three quarters of a cup of the white. And keep all that clear. Actually, I'm going to pop a little bit in here. I need some for my little experiment over here that I'm doing. A bit of that. <laughs> I'm experimenting with something, so I'm just going to thought, oh, I'll just pinch a bit of that resin. I made up 500 grams of resin, mixed resin, two cups for these six. Gorgeous coasters. Now these are my geode coasters and they have got that natural rocky edge. They're not just smooth like straight up and down on the edges. They've got this gorgeous rock type effect, like realistic. So I think if you're going to try and do a geode sort of a shape and style, try and you know make it as close to realistic as possible. That's what I reckon, and I love this mold. It's the first one I ever made because nobody sold molds with the rock edge, so I am the only one, as far as I know. I'm sure someone will copy me eventually. <laughs> All right, so I think that's I think that's good. So two big scoops. I think that'll do. I don't really want to go adding any more to it now that I've just mixed it up so carefully and I'm going to put a little bit of this white alcohol ink in it as well. I'm just going to do, I hope you can see that, I'm just going to do a little squirt like that. It's probably a dozen drops, I'm not sure, but just to give that a help with the effects, hey? 
if it will, I don't know. All right, let's do the black. Now the black, I'm using the Art Tree Creations Batman Black. I usually use the res, but I'm pretty low on that. So I'm gonna use this one. I don't know whether they're all the same or not. It's like going to the supermarket and you get a bottle of milk and a different bottle of milk, a different brand. Uh, they're all the same. All right, I'm just gonna give that a stir and pop that in there. There's not much left of that one either. Getting a bit low on stock here, guys. I have to go shopping. All right, stir that in. So I want this to be opaque. And then we'll put this along the edge. Don't want a very thick or wide edge because the black really takes over. So I'll try not to put too much because it spreads, you know. Even though you're thinking you're putting a tiny bit on it, it spreads and then it takes over the whole thing. All right, so that's my black. Move you out of the way for a minute. Move you out of the way. That's just silver flakes in there. A little bit. Don't need a lot. Not at all. All right, make some room. All right, let's do this. And I want to try for a very thin little bit this time because normally the black, like I said, really takes over. There we go. I better get a paper towel and catch that drip. Catch my little drip. Yeah, so if you do want this mold, it is in my eBay store. The link to my eBay store is below in the item description. Just hit the little drop down, little arrow and the drop down box will come up and it's in there. And uh, I do ship worldwide. All right, round we go. But yeah, so I mean, if you're enjoying my videos, and I would appreciate you supporting me and jumping online to my eBay store, it would be fantastic. It's your little way of supporting me back, hey? <laughs> All righty got a little bit of black left hopefully we've got enough to go around the next two not too too much I will get my little stick and just push the black into the edges there so I haven't got too too close because I didn't want to go over the top okay so pop that there see I've gone over the top there now I'm just gonna push this in I think you're done you're done. You need a little bit of pushing. Just like so. New. So is everyone organized for Christmas? Not long now. If you celebrate Christmas, have you done all your shopping and your baking all sorted? I think I'm pretty organized. I just have to do a little bit more baking. A little bit more grocery shopping um, and then I'll be good to go cooking with gas hey I will be cooking with gas too <laughs> this one's a little bit thin here I'm just trying to trying to make them sort of even without you know putting too much black in there don't want to overdo it because that black does take over now the top of the coaster, what you see now, will be the top of the coaster. I won't be turning it over and going, wow, look at the back. It's not what I want. I want the top to be the top. And now I've made a mess. The baby wipe. Yeah, so hopefully my effects will be on the top because the bottom won't be nice. It'll just be a black ring with some white in the bottom. It I very much doubt you'll get any sort of reactions on the bottom. Oh, all right, leave it there. I'm going to make it worse. All right, so I've got a tiny bit of black left, but just because you've made it up doesn't mean you have to use it all, hey? All right, here's the white. It's actually more of a, like it says on the bottle, it's more of a pearl, really. It's not white, white. I'm hoping it's going to be opaque enough. All right, oh, now I need another paper towel. It's always good to have one of these to catch the drips. So I'm just gonna pour some in just to sort of go out and touch that black. If I need any, if, I, if I've still got some left, I'll come back and put some more in, but I just wanna put a little bit in 
to begin with, just to make sure I've got enough to go around. Just wanted to touch that black. Okay, good to go there. A little bit more for you. So it's just touching. These are all already touching the black. A little bit more for you. I should probably need a tiny bit more black in there, don't you? This is what, whoops, this is the one that I did for. Add a bit of extra. All right, so I've got a tiny bit left. Just going to divide that. Now you have to be really careful with this white. You don't want to drip into the sides. Hope that bit will be all right, or I've just added some more there. Oh gosh. Yeah, you just got to be really careful you don't drip into your sides because you're trying really carefully to make these pretty effects um, and you don't want to spoil those by dripping. I don't know what I did there, whether that was a drip or not. Let's just fix that. Okay, <gasps> it's looking good so far. The Perlex, oh gosh, oh gosh, look what it's doing when I torch. The Perlex is very, very reactive. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. It's like I'm getting cells when I'm torching. Um, but yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Just popping bubbles. Alright, so now I want to start with my clear. Pour that in. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Go figure. Alright, here we go. Pouring some clear in. Push that white out and I'll just pour the clear in until it comes to the like the top of the mold. I should have enough. I've done this before in this mold and I know 500 grams is plenty and I did take that extra little bit out too like I said. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of a clear center. And I'll put the silver flakes in in a minute once I've poured this in. It's divided evenly. I'm just going slowly to make sure that everybody gets the same. And I've got enough to make them all the same height. If you don't want to do six coasters, I have got a very similar, well it's the same mould but it's in four coasters if you don't want to do six at a time check out my coaster holders as well they're like a really unique all-in-one coaster holder you don't have to worry about doing legs separately it's, it's a really good coaster holder check that out in my eBay store okay I think that'll do and now let's give it another torch Popping those bubbles. To be really careful with any heat. Not necessarily, doesn't have to be an open flame, like any heat, even a really hot resin, because it will fuse to your mold if you're not careful. So be really careful. I don't know what that is there. Why have I got white there? I should have black there. A little bit of black there. Now the, it's going to move. The resin moves. I've chosen this particular resin because it's got a very long working time. This is the one I use when I do my 3D blooms and I park it 50 minutes so it's got a long work time. All right let me just clean my hands. Alrighty now I want to put a little bit of this silver just a tiny bit it's going to want to kind of float anyway. I haven't really got a very bright silver like glass. It's a bit dull and I wanted a really bright so I've gone with the flakes or the silver foil but they tend to float. So I'm going to put a tiny bit in because I'm going to come and sort of stir it up a little bit just to blend it a bit. So you, yeah, you don't need a lot at all. And if you put too much in, it'll be like too thick and it'll poke through the top. And you don't want that. You want a smooth 
surface for your coaster. You don't want anything poking through the top. So just a little bit. It will spread. Okay, see that? Now I'm just going to kind of break it up just ever so slightly because it is floating there on top and I just want to break it up a bit. Oh, I dripped. Oh my gosh. i to be so careful. Let's catch the drips. I'm going to have to fix that now because it'll spoil the effect if we get... Hopefully we'll get some pretty effects. See how it's just sort of breaking that up, spreading it just a little bit so it's not a big blob in the centre. But yeah, if you put too much in, you think you're only putting a little bit in, but then when it spreads, you think, oh my gosh, I put way too much in there. It's spreading a bit. It does like to spread. I'm hoping I'll have a little clear centre there, a transparent centre. You just don't know what the resin's going to do. I need to swipe my sticks, you guys. You know what I like to do, don't you? Wipe my sticks. Let me clean up my mess. Be right with you. Clean up my mess. Wipe my sticks. I hope my um, white was opaque enough to get some good effects. I mean, I did two big scoops, so my toothpick. Where'd my toothpick go? <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Um, Alright. I just wanted to sort of, I just want to fix that little drip there. Hide it. If you see any little blobs or anything, just kind of poke them, hide them a little bit. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm going to need to do at the moment. Um, now it will keep moving and changing, um, you know, for the next 40, 50 minutes while this resin's got a good work time. Um, and I will come back to you in an hour, I guess, and we'll just see what's happening. Actually, I'll, I might bring you down because I can see, oh look, I can see stuff happening already. Let me just get these gloves off. Um, and I'll bring you down. Oh, there we go. Bring you down, show you what I mean. Just turn that ring light off. Let's have a little look. And this is what I was hoping to achieve. Look! <gasps> look, you guys! It's doing it! Wow! It's doing it. If you put too much black, like too thick black, the black just takes over and you'll lose all that white. But oh, I, I still may have put too much on, I don't know. I, I poured as thin as I could. I tried not to put too much down. And we've got some white creeping up through the bottom there, so I'm not sure what it's going to do. But yeah, it's looking looking really pretty at the moment. So yeah, I'll come back in about an hour and we'll see how it's changed, hey? This resin does take a full 24 hours to cure, so I won't be able to unmold it till tomorrow. So, but yeah, I'll see you in about an hour. So it's the next day. These guys have set up nice and firm. And um, let's have a look at them. There's no back to reveal as such, so what you see is what you get. Oh, look, we've got some transparency. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Wow. What do you think of those effects? So we've got the darker border around the outside, which frames it, and then it gets lighter and lighter and then clear in the middle, and then there's our silver. So pretty. I'm getting reflections here. Hang on, I forgot to turn on one of the lights. All right, let's see if that's any better. I've got my spotlight. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this one. I oh, know, I'm still getting reflections there. Now, this one hasn't got as much, 
movement from the black there. I mustn't have put enough black on the on the side. I was trying to get them, you know, as even as possible, but obviously I didn't achieve that. There's the silver. Still getting that reflection of the camera. I'll have a look at the back, but like I said, it's just going to be a black ring and then white so not much to look at at the back but I think it's always nice to see isn't it what the other side looks at like but no this this is the side that we were working on and this is the side that we have as our finished product and they are just gorgeous I really really love them just love that effect look at that it's just so delicate isn't it those are what we call striations When the two colors mingle the black just sort of very very lightly goes over the top there of the white i do think i feel as if i should have added a bit more of the white mica powder though this one's really good this one's got a little bit more black in it i think look at that look at that effect that's the favorite so it's really hard to know how much black to put in there you know you put too much in and then the whole thing covers up with black and you don't even see the white but um, yeah, I mean, and if you only did a tiny little bit of black, then you've only just got this around the edge, you see. So it just depends on what you like. <laughs> but that's my favorite. Look at that. It's very symmetrical, isn't it? Really symmetrical. This one's really symmetrical as well. Maybe I ran out of black on, on the bottom too. Not sure. This one's really symmetrical as well. Really pretty. Isn't it funny how you've got that ring of clear? Like it hasn't moved. It's just sat there. It's very strange. But there's our our silver. And see, there's the top. It hasn't, um, like the silver flag hasn't risen to the top because I only put a little bit in. It's really reflective. Look at that. Beautiful glass finish. So good. Last one. Come around that side. And there's that one. So let me know what you think of these guys. I'm assuming any sort of pigment paste would work around there because it's heavier and it reacts with the mica powder so I should probably try different colors hey maybe like a dark purple I think that would look really pretty but you know really basic all you're using is some black paste a bit of white a bit of clear and you're done so it's not a difficult pour to achieve if you're a a newbie a beginner to resin you can have a go at that so there we go but this is my favorite so again ever thank you ever so much for watching and um make sure that you subscribe hit that little bell so that you get all my notifications when i put up another video if you want to of course and uh, i'll see you real soon for the next video i've got something exciting coming up see you soon bye for now now if you've got any little rough edges uh, on your coasters, um, this hasn't got any rough edges on the top actually because I filled them up all the way so there's no, I don't know if you can see, there's no lip there. Uh, if you don't fill them up and dome them you get a little lip and you kind of have to sand it but there's nothing there. Um, if you do have any little holes or something like see that that's on the bottom that's on the bottom there you can just grab a nail file and just lightly sand them like that see it's easy pretty easy to do but that was on that was on the bottom the top there there's no bubbles I actually forgot to spray my mold with um, alcohol I do prefer to just spray it um, and then I get even less bubbles. But this is a really, really very, very low bubble resin, which I'm pretty much out of now. <laughs> I'm waiting for more to arrive. I'm pretty much out of my Platinum Ultra Clear. So that's it then. Um, that's all you do. So this one, I've just had a quick run around just to make sure I haven't got any little rough patches. And now I'm going to paint the edge with my silver pen. And I do like to use the Deco Color Premium. This one's getting a bit old now. It's probably almost empty. I do need to jump online and buy another one. Because the nib can get a little bit sort of fluffy. 
you can trim it so I'm just going to let's see if I can do it here without um, getting it out of focus are we in focus and this will also actually bring up the um, rock effect that's not going to work which on autofocus I always have I always struggle with the focusing I think I was just a bit close there because it's focusing focusing on the back of what's on the back let me move those all right maybe that'll be better because it doesn't know what to look at does it Go around real quick. <clears throat> it's not quite as fast to do the edges when you've got the rock edges because you just sort of have to paint inside all those little creases and things. But the finished result is just incredible. Look at that so far. See, it's just a different, just a little bit more special, hey, having that. I think anyway, having that rock edge look. Because there's lots of coasters that have just got smooth edges, but this is the only one that's got these. So I'll just finish this real quick and then I'll show you how we do the top section, okay? So that's it there, looking amazing already. Okay, so that one's all done along the edge there. It's looking beautiful left fingerprints on it. <laughs> I'll have to give it a wipe. Oh, actually I've got to show you something. Hang on. I buy these little microfiber squares, um, little cleaning cloths, and they're really good for just getting fingerprints off your finished resin pieces. I've got a little bit of silver paint on that one. But yeah, they're, they're really good for um, taking little fingerprints and things off. So really good. <clears throat> and I just got them on eBay. So here we go. So the next thing I need to do is get the hair off. <laughs> oh, it's an ordeal. All right. So um, like I said, this one's running low and it's getting a little bit fluffy on the end there. I do actually need to pop out to Craft Online and see if they've got any more in stock. So this one's on its last legs. So just... As always, just a little rim. I don't like it too thick. Just a little rim across the top there. And if you put your nib half on and half off, it kind of stays because the, the coaster makes a little like groove in the center of the nib and it just kind of holds it in place. So just half on, half off is how I like to do it. If you want a thicker line, by all means, you can do a thicker line, but I just think it's a little bit more elegant looking with just a, a fine, fine line. And you don't want to cover up too much of that black. Nearly done. Ta-da! There we go. Look at that. Is that not just the most beautiful thing. Oh, there's some more fingerprints on that side. I'll have to get that. But I'm going to wait till it's dry because I don't want to smudge silver all over it. But there it is. And there's those sides. Beautiful glass top finish. This resin is also heat resistant. It doesn't have as high a heat resistance as the 360, but it is still heat resistant. But with any cups, any sort of anything, doesn't matter if it's hot or cold, you have to wait till your resin's cured like a month before you go putting things on it, otherwise it could leave a ring. If it does leave a ring, you can sort of heat it with your blowtorch and the ring, well, tends to sort of come out, but probably best not to use them for a few weeks anyway. So there we go. Hope you have enjoyed that video. And um, yep, like I said, these beautiful moulds are in my eBay store. Grab one for, for yourself as a Christmas present before... 
they run out. <laughs> all right, take care, guys. Love you all. Thank you ever so much for watching. Really appreciate it. All right, see you all soon. Bye for now.